This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. The Tesla Model Y is not the Tesla Model 3. Or is it? Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm JP and you are watching The Buzz. And today we are diving in to take a look at the similarities and differences of the Tesla Model Y versus the Tesla Model 3. Let's jump right in. After the highly anticipated Model Y unveil in March of 2019, it seemed as though many Tesla enthusiasts, including myself, felt that Tesla was merely showcasing a modified Model 3. Now, there's no doubt that both vehicles have a very, very similar look and share many of the same parts and technology. In fact, Tesla stated that the Model Y is going to share around 75% of its parts with the Tesla Model 3, which is, of course, the reason that they look so similar, right? <laughs> Tesla also stated that they did not want to over-engineer the car or over-engineer the manufacturing process. They wanted to take what they learned from the Model 3 production and keep it as simple as possible. Tesla certainly did not want to repeat the Model X production and build issues by starting this process of the Model Y from scratch. They wanted to simplify the entire process. And of course, all of this reasoning and information makes perfect sense, right? Tesla wanted to streamline all of its processes for the Model Y production in order to reduce the time from build to delivery. But is the Model Y any different from the Model 3? We're going to break this down into three categories. We're gonna take a look at the similarities and differences of the exterior, the interior, and of course, the tech. One quick note that I wanted to make is keep in mind that Tesla has not released many of the details surrounding the Model Y specifications, and much of this information that I'm going to share is what has been reported and what Tesla has released to date. Let's dive into the exterior of both vehicles and take a look at the similarities and differences. The Model Y's exterior appearance looks very similar to that of the Model 3. It's flush door handles to the beautifully designed headlamps, taillights, folding mirrors, side turn signals with integrated cameras, and of course the B-pillar cameras all the way down to the rim size and tire package. Tesla also kept the same rear fin as the Model 3. Now, all of these elements that I just mentioned are certainly taken directly from the design of the Model 3. But after these details, this is where we start to see the Model 3 and the Model Y's exterior design differ. Now let's take a look at some of the exterior differences. So Elon tweeted that the Model Y would be about 10% larger than a Tesla Model 3. And the first thing you notice about the Model Y is its height. Thanks to a Reddit user with a measuring tape on hand, we now know that the Model Y has a height of 65 inches, which is actually more comparable to the Model X and stands nearly nine inches taller than the Model 3, which stands at 57 inches tall. And of course, with that additional height, one might think that it will also have some additional ground clearance to go along with it. All of the available details indicate that the Model Y sits about six inches off the ground, which is only a half inch more than the Model 3. But nonetheless, it's still a half inch higher off the ground. So that is a small difference. Now, hopefully, this does not account for a possible air suspension upgrade that may be outfitted on the Model Y before production. Well, one can at least hope, right? Now, to be clear, Tesla has not released any official dimensions and all of this information is based on what has been reported and what has been found in the wild. So a few other noticeable differences are the rear doors. The rear doors appear to be cut more square and further back on the Model Y to possibly allow for more room for those far rear passengers to climb in and out of the vehicle. You will also notice that Chrome Delete appears to be standard on the Model Y's door handles, side mirrors, pillar trim, and other accents that are finished in matte black compared to the chrome of the Tesla Model 3. The Model Y also boasts a hatchback design, which is very, very different from the Model 3's small trunk. 
The Models Y hatch will also have an automatic open and close feature, which I know many of us Tesla Model 3 owners wish we had. The Model Y's lower nose cone has also been slightly redesigned, and this is to help with efficiency which by the way, is supposed to be best in its class. Okay, so that is where we stand with the exterior differences between the Model Y and the Model 3. So please comment down below and let me know if I missed anything of importance or if there's something that you would like to share. All right, so let's take a dive into the interior of both vehicles and look at the similarities and differences. So here again, we can apply the fact that the two vehicles will share approximately 75% of the same parts and tech. With that being said, the Model Y interior is nearly the exact same as the Model 3 and offers the same sleek, minimalist design and materials. The Model Y will use the same 15 inch touchscreen as the Model 3, along with the same 12 way power adjustable front and rear heated seats. The dash will have the same two options wood grain and the white ceramic based on which interior color option you choose. The door panels and center console will also remain consistent with that of the Model 3 design. And another noticeable similarity is a tinted glass roof with the ultraviolet and infrared protection, which is the exact same being produced for the Model 3 today. And lastly, the steering wheel and the steering column will also be the same across both vehicles. All right, so now let's dive into the interior differences. So the Model Y does have some very distinct interior differences. Differences such as the new gorgeous panoramic sunroof. The Model Y's automatic third row seating option, which will now accommodate seven adults. Now, <laughs> there is some debate as to whether or not how comfortable that is going to be. We're gonna have to wait and find out. But nonetheless, it has two additional seats than the Model 3. The Model Y will also have 66 cubic feet of storage space when the optional rear seats are folded down compared to the 15 cubic feet of storage in the Model 3. That additional storage space is a huge benefit to the Model Y and why I believe many will opt in for the Model Y versus the Model 3. Which by the way, to Elon's point, the Model Y will outsell all Tesla vehicles combined. I guess we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Hopefully it does, we'll see. So. Those are the major interior similarities and differences. And again, please feel free to comment down below and let me know if there's anything I missed or something you'd like to share. All right, so our last category, let's dive into the tech of both vehicles and take a look at their similarities and differences. All right, as far as the tech is concerned, the Model Y will come equipped with the same exact full self-driving capable hardware as the Model 3 also known as Hardware 3 or 3.0. It will also have the same cameras, ultrasonic sensors, GPS, and radar systems as the Model 3. As mentioned earlier, the Model Y will also use the same 15-inch touchscreen. The Model Y will also have the same USB ports and connectivity, which offers four USB ports and two docking stations for your smartphones. The audio system will also be the same, boasting 14 speakers, one subwoofer, and two amps for a very, very impressive immersive sound experience. If you haven't had the opportunity to listen or hear the sound system in the Tesla Model 3, it is really amazing. I can't wait to hear what the Model Y sounds like. I wish they added a couple more speakers for the far rear back, but nonetheless, I think you'll be extremely impressed with the sound in the Model Y. And of course, the Model Y will have all of the same in-car internet, music streaming, and media services. All right, so now let's dive into the tech differences. So here too, we see some differences in the tech of the Model Y over the current Model 3. Albeit these are not major differences, but it does show that Tesla continues to improve or change their design for the better. The Model Y will apparently have a new set of side mirrors. These mirrors not only fold, but they are also heated and have a new auto dimming feature that is currently not listed on the Model 3 configurator. The Model Y will also come equipped with location aware automatic garage door opener, or otherwise known as Homelink for us current Model 3 owners. It also appears that Tesla will not, again, will not be charging Model Y owners for premium connectivity, at least at this moment. 
Currently, the online configurator is not listing this as an item as it does on the Model 3 configurator. Strange, I know, but currently it's not there. Now, this may change later, but as of today, there is no indication that this is not included with the purchase of a Model Y. So that brings us through our three categories comparing the Model Y and the Model 3. And my conclusion is simple. It is that the Model Y has some unique differences, but it also carries over much of the same parts and tech as the Model 3, which I think we all expected. But from a production and build perspective, this is great for Tesla, and this should help them streamline the manufacturing process, which ultimately means you should get the Model Y faster with less quality and build issues than the early Model 3 vehicles. And some good news, we should start seeing deliveries starting with Tesla employees in the next two weeks, and then hopefully to the public not too long after. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before you leave, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are between the two vehicles and the differences and similarities they both share. Thanks for tuning in again. We'll catch you on the next one.